Hi guys, it's Karen Galway, um, Redheaded Oiler, and I am coming with you today with a tip on how to make your own um, mouth spray. Super duper easy. Um, it's great for if you didn't get a chance to brush your teeth, um, if you are, um, you know, just ate a big meal, or if you just want to freshen your breath. It's also because it has peppermint. It's really good for giving you a little boost of energy too. Um, so a little pick me up. Um, it involves the Thieves mouthwash, which if you don't have this already and you currently use mouthwash, you may want to consider switching to this one. This is amazing. Uh, it has colloidal silver in it, um, which you can do some research on colloidal silver, but it has a lot of health benefits to it. Um, so this, oh, I just love the smell of it. So this is a, a uh, mouthwash that I use, um, but I uh, heard of a tip from... I can't take credit for this. I just discovered a couple weeks ago, uh, Nicole Perez, who's a diamond leader with Young Living, um, said you can just make your own mouth spray using um, the Thieves Cleaner. Oh, not Thieves Cleaner, sorry. Don't make your mouth spray with Thieves Cleaner with the Thieves mouthwash. Um, so you're gonna need some of this and then some water and some peppermint vitality um, because we will be um, spraying it in our mouths. So we need to use our peppermint vitality. Um, and then you get a, a spray bottle. I have a glass one. I get this, I think I got a, a pack of these off of Amazon. I use the glass because um, I'm sure you all know that um, the essential oils will leach, will break down the plastic. Um, most definitely with citrus oils because they are, um, they kind of break down those petrochemicals and, chem and plastic is made from petrochemicals. So um, they will break down the petrochemicals and if you are using a spray bottle of, of anything you're spraying into your mouth, you will be consuming plastic particles. Um, and eventually the, the essential oils will just break down the plastic and, and the bottle will crack. Um, and so if anything that I'm using um, on myself, if I'm spraying anything on my body, um, if I'm using, um, well, most roller bottles come in glass, but anything I, te I tend to stick with um, glass, unless I'm doing like Thieves household cleaner, which isn't a highly concentrated um, oil. It's just, uh, there are oils in it, but it's not all just oil. Um, so yeah, so I do the plastic. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, fill up a cap full. And this is rolling off. Let's see. Fill up a cap full of the Thieves cleaner. I should have brought my funnel, and I didn't, and I know I'm going to make a mess. I know it, I know it, I know it. Oh, not too bad. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to do another capful. Okay. Now this, I find this mouthwash in general just really strong. Um, it's a very um, spicy um, taste to it. So even when I use the mouthwash, I tend to dilute it with water anyways. Um, and then I'm going to add, you know, I'm going to start off with three drops. Um, this is my first time making it. Uh, so I'm going to start off with three drops. And this is my Peppermint Vitality. You know what? Maybe we'll do. I actually, uh, when you first start using essential oils, you want to start slow. We all know this, right? Like you want to start super slow. Even with lavender, you're putting it the first time on your body. Um, you may want to dilute it on your skin, even though it says you don't have to dilute it. If you're a first time oil user, you want to go really slow. Um, peppermint Vitality, I love in my bottle of water when I'm working out. Um, I will say I could not do that at first. When I first started using Peppermint Vitality, I would put it in a glass pitcher that was full of water and I keep that in the fridge and I had like one or two drops in the entire pitcher. And now I can take a drop of peppermint and put it in my finger and put it in my mouth. Um, it's really strong, but my body is used to it. So if you're gonna do this recipe, I just put five drops in. Um, and then if you feel like you want to start off with two, you can start off with two. And then I'm going to fill up with some water. There we go. All right. And I think I'm actually going to add a couple more drops. And then that is it spritzer on top. So there's your mouth spray. I'm going to keep this in my purse. Um, and that way I can just spritz it around when I want a little pick me up. And it's, whew, <laughs> it's so spicy. So, um, but it's great. I love it. 
And then, um, then I get the health benefits. It's a colloidal silver as well. So that's it. That's our tip for the week. Um, let me know if you have any questions. All right. Bye.